Hi everyone, welcome back to another session on uh, Salesforce reports and dashboard. In this session, we are going to see that how we can create and manage dashboards mainly. I think uh, we have covered almost all the topics in reports. So let's just go ahead. We, we had one session on dashboards where I had shown you how to create a dashboard, but in this one, I'm again going to show you how to create a dashboard and how you can actually arrange components on your dashboard. Okay. And how do you actually manage your dashboards? All right. So let's just go ahead and get started. So um, let me close all of this and we will navigate to uh, dashboards. So the way either you have the dashboard tab over here, either you have to include that in your lightning app otherwise not then you can just navigate to dashboard from the app launcher so dashboards and let me create a new dashboard here so let's just name it as um demo dashboard and here you can select the folder. If you will keep it private, then it's, the visibility will be like, you know, uh, limited to this particular folder, okay? Private dashboards folder. And whoever has access to that folder, they will have access to the to this dashboard as well, right? So, or you can, if you want, you can change the folder location as well, or you can create new folder and then you can keep that dashboard inside that new folder, all right? So you can, if you want, let me just show you how to um my not my okay let's say account dashboards account and opportunity dashboard okay all right so let's just save it so under this dashboard i'm going to keep this dashboard that I've created. Okay. And then let's just click on create. So now the dashboard is created. Now the question is that how do you actually display uh, those visuals like, you know, in the form of graph charts or pie charts. So those are nothing but those kind of visuals or graphics that to create, those are created based on the data, right? So you need to have data somewhere, correct? And where do we have that data? We'll have that data in the reports that we have created. Okay. So basically a dashboard is nothing but it, it is giving you a visual to your reports. Okay. In a very uh, beautified manner, you can say, or like in a more understandable uh, manner. Okay. So that if anybody do, don't want to like, you know, go inside the report and see each and everything, they can just refer to the dashboard and they will get a, uh, really nice overview of the overall data all right so let's just go ahead and try to create add one of the reports under the components of this dashboard okay so for that you need to click on component and here from here we need to select the reports okay so there are a couple of reports that we had created so let me uh, add this one select and from here, you can choose uh, this is just a table because this report is actually a plain report, but let me add it. Okay. Let me add another component. And here I'm going to uh, let me add this report as well. All right. Okay, so here from here, you can choose that like, you know, in what kind of visual you want to uh, present your data. Okay, so let's let me select this one. Okay, so whatever you're seeing here, right, it is nothing but it is just showing you the data from the report. Okay, let's just add another report. This was a join report, so it should be pretty not messy, but yeah this kind of data let's just add this these are like you know some changes that like you know what do you want to keep on the x-axis y-axis and based on what you want to integrate or dis disintegrate your data okay so these are the options that you'll have available for join reports a lot of options are disabled so maybe you cannot make those changes 
from the dashboard maybe if you want to make those changes you can go back to the report and make like you know some of those changes so i'm just going to keep it as it is so let me first drag and drop it here this one let's just keep it here one second all right let's just add another report <clears throat> okay all right i'm going to use this one over here okay let's add one more so i think uh, this you're seeing it right that how you can just keep on adding the report and it's not that like you know you cannot add the same for example this report right test report I can use the same report again in order and I want, if I want, I can display it in some other way, right? Let's say, for example, I just want to show the count, okay? So test report, select, and let's see what are the options available. For example, this one, okay? Here, right? It is giving us the value in percentage for some reason. But if, let's say, if this report was giving you the count back, then you could have done, done that as well. You can just maximize it and... Let's just take one more. Not this one. This is a very, I mean, there is no summary on that field. So maybe this one. There's no summary on this one as well. Um, I'm just going to take the same report again. So let me just take this one sorry the same report why is it not giving me the options all right let's just take this one okay so this is how you can actually uh include all your report data into your dashboards okay if you want to and you can choose whatever visual you want okay and once you have added all these components there is this like you know edit button where you can click and if you want to like you know change anything so for example right now this x-axis is based on the opportunity name this y-axis is coming based on the sum of probability but let's say if i want to change it based on the record count so i can do that as well right so now it is showing me based on the record count and if I want to add any extra measure, that also I can do, okay? So these are the options that are available. If I want to show values, then you can see, right? It started showing me the values on the chart. And if I want to show the cumulative, then this is how it is going to change. So basically these, there are like, you know, enough options for you from here, like, you know, in different manner of displaying the, uh, th this, like, you know, this particular component on the dashboard, okay? And here also like, you know, sort by, if you want to sort it by record count or opportunity name, right? So these are the options that you can do. All right. And here is the mode, right? Which you might not want, but this is another option that you can like, you know, if you want it to look more fancier, maybe then you can choose this. All right. So every component that you actually include is nothing but a report. Okay. And the same report can be added on a dashboard multiple times. And depending on like, you know, if you want to keep different visuals, then you can do that. And then every component over here can be edited and their look and feel can be changed or the way they are getting displayed that also can be changed based on their X and Y axis configuration. Okay. So let's just go, go ahead and save this. So click on done. Dashboard saved. Okay. All right. This is take. This is this was a joint report, right? Okay. All right. Came right. So the dashboard is saved, right? This is the dashboard that I just created, and you can see whatever reports I have fetched and kept here, right? If I click, you can see there's a link, right? Below every component, there's a link. If I click on these links, right, it will navigate me to the report. Okay. So if anybody wants to actually go to the report of that particular uh, dashboard component, visual component, they can navigate. I'll go back to the dashboard. Sorry, which was the dashboard? Uh, this one, demo dashboard. 
let's say this join report okay yeah it is right so this is how you can create the dashboard and this is how you can arrange the components on the dashboard and like you know just by so let's say you have already saved your dashboard you can still like you know click on edit and you can change if you want to make any changes on any of these components right and let's say if someone is asking you to change like you know let's say apply a filter or uh, change the basic requirement of the report right let's say if you have a report and you are on for example in this one right so let's say if somebody comes and tells you that you know what in this particular component i don't want to show the uh, like you know prospect accounts can you remove it from the from this component then where do you need to make changes you there is no way that you can make that change on this component here you need to make the changes on the report okay and whatever change you do on the report the same change will be reflected over here okay so in the same similar case if you go to the report and then you will apply one filter right in that filter you are going to um, exclude prospects because the now the client let's say they don't want the prospects to be displayed in this component here right so you can like you know there in the filter you can apply a filter as in account type not equals to pro prospect okay so basically if there is any change in the basic requirement then you need to do those changes on the report and then save the report and then once you come back to the dashboard refresh it then the changes that you have done on the report right those changes will be reflected on your dashboard components as well all right so that is another point now um there are few more options here okay so i'm not sure what this download does okay it is just downloading a picture for you for the dashboard okay yeah so basically whenever you are down for example i i i told you guys right that how you can actually export a report right you can export it either, either into excel sheet or csv format okay but the dashboard right the dashboard you cannot actually like you know export as in you cannot export it in any other file right let's say like you know a pdf or um it, it's not going to paste all these kind of all these visuals into an excel sheet right so even this option right i am i i remember that this option was not there before right to download this dashboard or maybe it was but i don't remember having this option like you know for always maybe like you know it was a recent or like you know recent change or something um anyway so that is how you can create manage and <laughs> download the dashboard okay now um let's say if you want to subscribe okay subscribe as in let's say if you want to send this dashboard uh, information to somebody okay you want to uh, send let's say a link of this dashboard or like you know a snapshot of this dashboard to someone then you need to subscribe okay those users it is exactly same as what we had seen in the case of reports okay if you want to subscribe someone to a report okay so similarly you can decide that if it is a daily if it is if the email should be sent out with the dashboard on a daily basis or weekly or monthly and then also you can decide that on which day you want to schedule it you can also decide the time and here right receive new results by email when dashboard is refreshed so it's not that like you know the maybe this is like you know that if there are no changes then there'll be no email sent out but let's say if there are changes or the data is getting refreshed then every time an email will be sent out okay if there is a change then send email to this is the recipient list okay so the moment you click on edit recipient here you can add as many user as you want you can search for the user click on add so right now it is only me because i created it okay but i can um, search other user and click on add i don't have a lot of user here maybe i have one i don't have a lot of user i don't have like you know extra users in this org actually so but you can just search for the user keep on adding them okay and whoever you add they will get the they will get subscribed to this particular dashboard okay and then here if you click okay this is just user option i thought maybe there is a group option as well but i believe the group group option comes on the folder okay not exactly on the dashboard but on the folder itself all right so this is how you can subscribe to a dashboard let's just go to the folder and let me show you what i'm i was just talking about that share option for groups okay so 
here um, all dashboards and this is the this is the folder that I had created, right? Account and opportunity dashboard. So let's just go to this dashboard. And here, if you see share, this is what I was talking about. See, so this, when you go to a folder, right? The sharing option is not just limited to users because let's say if there are 50 or 100 users, with whom you need to share this particular folder, then it's not that you will just keep on adding everybody one by one, right? Maybe they all are part of a group, right? Then you can simply uh, select public group and then select the public group name. Or if it has to comply with the uh, roles and roles and subordinates uh, hierarchy, then you can choose this as well, all right? And uh, once you select that, you need to click on this button, okay? Once you select, let's say a public group or a user, you need to click on share. The moment you click on share, that public group or role in hierarchy or like, you know, the user, they will get added to this list and then you can click on done, all right? And whenever you are adding someone, right? You can decide, always decide that what level of permission you want to give. Either they should have only view access to the dashboard, right? Sorry, to this, like, you know, to, the, to any file under this folder, okay? or they should also have the edit access, right? That they can also change, make the changes on the files under this folder. Manage means as in like, you know, they will also have, they will have basically every access. They can also delete like, you know, any kind of any, any dashboard, which is residing under this folder. All right. So this is the level of access that you can give when you are adding somebody like, you know, to this folder share. Okay. All right. So this was all about reports and dashboard. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.